In this video, we will solve a question on how to find the price elasticity of demand, cross price elasticity of demand, and income elasticity of demand, and also find out the nature of the goods given these elasticities. The question is, given the demand function for good X, that is quantity demanded of good X is equal to 180 minus 5 times the price of good X plus 10 times the price of good Y plus 0.4 times the income m denotes the income price of good x is 6 price of good y is 8 and income of the consumer is 2000 we need to calculate the price elasticity cross price elasticity and income elasticity okay and we need to comment on the nature of the goods so what we have been given and let's write it here we have the demand function quantity demand of good x is equal to 180 plus rather it is minus here we have minus 5 times the price of good x is 6 so in place of px i will write 6 then we have plus uh, 10 times the price of good y which is 8 so it this is 8 here uh, plus 0 0.4 and in place of m we have the income as 2000 solving the, this we will get qx qx is equal to and when we solve it will come out to be 1030 okay given this demand function okay when we plugged the values of price of good x price of good y and income quantity demanded of good x came out to be 1030 here okay now we will calculate one by one first we will calculate uh, this price elasticity of demand and let's denote it by uh, e subscript b and price elasticity of demand is simply the change in the quantity of good x due to the change in the price of good x itself times price of good x upon quantity of good x okay now given this demand function then we take dqx upon dpx that means change in the quantity of good x due to the change in the price of good x so this derivative will come out to be okay dq uh, x upon dpx that means partially differentiating this demand function with respect to px since px is in the second term and no px is involved in all other terms so the derivative of all other terms will be zero and derivative of px is one so we will be left with minus five okay simple thing the derivative of this demand function with respect to px comes out to be minus 5 into price of good x is being given as a 6 divided by quantity of good x which we calculated as 1030 solving this it will come out to be uh, and i have calculated it it comes out to be minus 0 0.03 okay that means price elasticity of demand comes out to be minus 0 0.03 okay and we will you know also comment on the nature of the good but first we will calculate other things here so this is the price elasticity of demand so let me write it here price elasticity of demand we calculated now second we will calculate the cross uh, you know elasticity of demand and let's uh, denote it by uh, e subscript c and cross price elasticity of demand is simply equal to the change in the quantity demanded of good x due to the change in the price of good y into price of good y upon quantity of good x okay which implies dqx upon dpy means the derivative of this demand function with respect to good y that means py since py is involved in the third term derivative of py is 1 so we will be left with 10 the derivative of all other terms will be equal to 0 since we are taking the partials with respect to py so cross price elasticity will come out to be derivative of py will be 1 so we will be left with 10 into price of good y is 8 to this we divide the quantity of good x that is we calculated as 1030 this comes out to be 0 0.08 so 
cross price elasticity of demand comes out to be 0 0.08 and it simply tells us what happens to the quantity demanded of good x when the price of good y changes okay and i will explain in uh, the last ending of this video okay so we calculated the cross elasticity of demand also so this is our second one this was first one a third one is to calculate the income elasticity of demand so let's denote it by uh, e subscript m income elasticity of demand is simply the change in the quantity of good x due to the change in the income of the consumer times the initial income divided by the quantity demanded with the initial income and this time it means we take the partials with respect to m okay dqx upon dm means the partially differentiating the given demand function with respect to m so we will get so since m is involved in the last term derivative of m is 1 so we will be left with 0 0.4 initial income is being given as 2000 to this we divide by quantity demanded 1 oh, 3 oh, this comes out to be 0 0.78 okay so we got all the things here this is our cross price elasticity of demand this is the income elasticity of demand and this is the price elasticity of demand now we need to comment on the nature of the goods okay so when price elasticity of demand is equal to 0 0.03 and it is less than one we can say demand is demand is inelastic okay when price elasticity of demand is less than one we say that demand for good x is inelastic that means uh, you know change in the quantity of good x is less than the change in the price of good x okay if it was greater than one we will say that demand is elastic here first thing now when we got cross elasticity of demand equal to 0 0.08 okay and it is here positive it is greater than zero which means it is positive when cross elasticity comes out to be positive it means that x and y are you know substitutes substitutes to each other okay if it is a negative then the x and y would have been the complement it simply says us if uh, price of good x rather price of good y increases by one percent quantity demanded of good x will increase by 0 0.08 percent so there is positive relationship x and y are substitutes because the cross elasticity is positive if it was negative then we would say x and y are complements okay to the last thing we are being told that income elasticity we calculated it as 0 0.78 and here you can see it is what we say when income elasticity and let me write it here when income el elasticity which we got here 0 0.78 and here you can see that income elasticity lies between 0 and 1 in this case when income elasticity of demand lies between 0 and 1 we say that the good is normal and income inelastic that means the good is a necessity not a luxury okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you